ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. You've clicked onto the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 30th day of January. And, of course, the big buzz is about the potential for a winter storm. There's no doubt there will be a big one somewhere across the southeast and the east. Uh, The question is, where will it be? How much snow? A lot of questions here. And, again, it's going to be a little hard to answer all of them at this stage of the game. But there's better clarity now, and we'll talk about that. But, hey, let's check out that storm alert tour. Boy, did we have a great night last night in Utah. Uh, We kicked off the show at Greene County High School. The place was packed, and everybody was just so kind. So we thank everybody for coming out last night. We had people from at least seven counties there over West Alabama. Next week, we're coming to Trustful. That's Thursday of next week, the 5th of February at the Civic Center in Trustful. Then on the 12th, we'll be in Jasper. On the 19th, we'll be in Oxford. There will be one more stop, and we'll again announce the uh, date and the location a little later. Well, this morning is cold. It's uh, Temperatures are sitting around the freezing mark. There's our Birmingham sky cam looking north. Here's the uh, sky cam on the campus of the University of Montevallo down in Shelby County. And in Tuscaloosa, looking down at the corner of Greensboro Avenue and University Boulevard. Here's the water vapor satellite imagery this morning. On top of that, the 500 millibar height lines. You can see the trough sharpening up over the east, the ridge pumping up over the west. And uh, it will be colder today. You can see we got some, uh, well, it's cold as minus 26 up around International Falls, Minnesota. And uh, we'll catch a bit of that coming down the pike. So yesterday we had a high close to 50. Today should be about 5 degrees colder. The wind's going to pick up, making it a bit more uncomfortable. And a pretty good freeze coming up tonight. There's a look at our numbers this morning. You can see most spots sitting around 30. QPF chart. This is what's going to happen early next week. And it's going to be a whopper of a storm, a big one, the, the, the type that will interrupt lives for a few days in the snow zone and uh, of course the snow is going to be on the western periphery of that rain will be on the uh, eastern periphery i do think for the major east coast cities this is mostly rain Uh, new york city boston uh, washington dc baltimore philadelphia the places that might be slammed would include pittsburgh and buffalo and morgantown west virginia and uh, down into maybe uh, knoxville tennessee chattanooga And, of course, what about Alabama? Well, let's get into modeling here. This is the uh, GFS, the 06Z run. Uh, The global forecast system, ballot at noon today. This uh, map depicts the weather at 500 millibars, that pressure level. That's about 18,000 feet off the ground. And, again, you can see the highly amplified trough over the east, and that means cold today. The isobars are perpendicular to the thickness lines, and that will mean cold air advection, so colder than yesterday. But uh, the sky should be partly to mostly sunny. Uh, Tomorrow morning will be cold. The surface high over us uh, will be down in the 20s, but we'll warm up into the low 50s during the day. And uh, Sunday, we'll be up there around 60, maybe low 60s. So that'll feel pretty good, and everybody will say, what's the deal with Monday when it feels so good here? But they said that, you know, before the blizzard of 93, too. But not look, this is not the blizzard of 93. Not in the same universe, Uh, but for some people over the country, it's going to be a big snow. Uh, And there's a look at Monday, big, strong upper trough coming in. Very good upper support with strong jet stream uh, activity. And look at this now. Come on, what's what's going on here? Now, remember, this is the new run, the 06Z run. And, you know, for the past couple of days, the models have been trending north. Well, by golly, what's the GFS doing now? Trending south. You know, that's why it's, it's hard to be a know-it-all, you know, at this stage of the game. And we are going to make a, a, a first call on this thing uh, today. But understand, that is changeable. Nobody knows for sure. But there is enough skill on the board to know that this will be a major winter storm for somebody. But if this run is right, you see that 540 thickness line, the critical thickness line, is sitting uh, maybe just below Birmingham. And that would suggest a pretty good snow for uh, Birmingham North, really north of Birmingham especially. is the, uh, It's all going to start as rain, we think. Uh, again, I think the clarity is pretty good on that. It starts as rain late Sunday night, Monday morning, changing to snow as the day progresses. Uh, there's a look at 6 o'clock Monday evening. The uh, surface low really moves into north-central Florida, north of Orlando, way farther to the south than previous runs. And that suggests the rain changing to snow all the way down to areas below Montgomery with accumulating snow for Birmingham and Anniston uh, and places like that. 
But again, th th please understand, this is not a forecast. Whenever we show you these things, all this is is model output. This is a tool used in the forecast process. For a big storm like this, it's best to look at a group of these all together. Not only this model, but uh, the other global models, the other big ones, the European and the Canadian, and make a forecast, which is what we'll do uh, today. But isn't that interesting? And then at uh, midnight Monday night on this run, the uh, surface load deepens just off the coast. And uh, big snows would continue for the interior parts of the Middle Atlantic Coast region while we just go cold. And uh, by golly, Tuesday, that looks very cold with a few snow flurries around. Uh, we would not get out of the 20s if this is right on Tuesday. And the big surface low is down to 984 millibars up uh, really not too far from Boston. So uh, this, this will be the talk of the town, and again, we'll uh, make the call on the blog, but uh, I do think there's a good chance we'll see snowflakes as far south as Montgomery. Don't think it will accumulate much there. There is some chance of accumulating snow in Birmingham. Maybe the big snow could be would be north of Birmingham, maybe up toward Huntsville or Chattanooga. But again, I'm not going to make the call in this video here. We're just throwing out and modeling and talking about it together. And then Wednesday, cold and dry. And Thursday, we moderate. Things get back to normal. Uh, we'll jump out to the end of the cycle on the 14th. Uh, this is Valentine's Day, kind of a zonal look. And, you know, every run looks different out here. The, the NAO is kind of in neutral territory. It's hard to latch onto anything because every time you look, it's different, which often is the case in the cold season at 15 to 16 days. But like we always like to do here, you know, we're just peaking. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. And again, we'll make a first call on this Monday forecast over there at some point today. Uh, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television if you're local. That's ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.